What's up, guys, and welcome to Car Detailing Simulator. I've had this game for quite a while now, actually, and I'm just now getting around to making a video on it. But if you guys are just as curious about this one as I am, make sure you leave a like on the video. It would be greatly appreciated. We're going to start off here with what I believe to just be a tutorial. We've got basic WASD to move around, and then C to crouch, and left click to pick up the phone. Oh, the phone! Of course, right, the phone, obviously. Then we have space to stand on our tiptoes. Interesting, I like it. Left shift to sprint, tab to open up the log, E for tutorials, right on. So we're going to be cleaning the interior, washing the windows, and then ultimately cleaning the car overall for a Mr. Hill Bamford. Sounds easy enough. Let's walk over here. We have the bodywork wash kit. Go ahead and open that bad boy up. And then to open our tool or inventory radial, we've got a um, little scroll wheel action. I can appreciate that. Left click to foam up the car. Be precise. All right, we'll go ahead and skip the video tutorial. I feel like this is pretty self-explanatory, but, you know, maybe not. Maybe not. I'm half expecting this game to be, like, a mix of Power Wash Simulator and car mechanic simulator almost we'll see if if that's actually the case do a little tiptoe action to clean the roof there make our way around to the hood gotta make sure we we suds up every square inch of this vehicle i should have paid attention to like what this thing's actually based off of it, it's not going to be like a backed by the manufacturer type vehicle it's it's going to be lore friendly but foam up the car and then clean the car Okay, how do we, how do we do that? How to use the pressure washer? Oh, open up our inventory again. Obviously, obviously. If any of you have played this once already, this may be a bit painful for you to watch because I'm just completely oblivious when it comes to stuff like this, but it's definitely satisfying. Just trying to get all the suds off of here. Make our way up to the roof line. All the way back to the trunk. It kind of looks like an Aston Martin. A little bit. Maybe that's what it's supposed to be. Tail lights don't really look familiar, but overall body shape, I'm thinking like a Jag or, or an Aston Martin. For sure. We'll know when we get up to the grill. That's usually a telltale sign. Though, Ford's grills, as of recently, especially for their for their smaller vehicles like this, kind of look a little Aston Martin-y tell you the truth okay kind of kind of jag-esque but also definitely aston martin you can you can totally see that from the grill keep working our way around here just got to get all the suds off and then i think we're good to move on to the next steps here whatever that's gonna be all right good job everything's complete the remaining kits on the shelf will help us with the rest i guess good deal all right now how do we just put our tools away oh just like this we've we've got a hand as a tool Love that. So window cleaning kit is probably going to be next. We've got to spritz it a little bit and then just probably wipe it down. Makes sense. Makes sense. So let's see. What do we start with? Probably the glass cleaner. We'll just do a couple of spritzes here. Two, three, maybe even four spritzes. And then let's see. How do we move? Oh, next window. There we go. Nice. I like it. I like it. I like it. And the windshield. Sweet. Okay, now that we're done with that, let's get the washcloth. And I think we just kind of, yeah, just kind of start from the top and we'll work our way down. Oh, we have a water bar up there at the top. So we've got to squeeze that out and then we can keep going. That's really good. That is really, really good. I don't think this is going to become a series on the channel. So maybe don't get too comfortable with this one. But it is one that I've been meaning to check out here for a while now. And I figured since Thursdays are kind of like our miscellaneous game day, it's probably a good time to do it. How? Oh, it's it's full of water. There we go. Squeeze that thing out. Move around to the next group of winders. I love it. I love it. It's got good sound effects, too. They're they're kind of turned down. I don't think you guys can actually hear them all that well. But we've, ha we've got, like, the, the squeaking sounds of... You can kind of hear it, of washing the windows. You can kind of hear it a little bit. It's turned way down, though. 
Oh, we've got to ring that out once again. There we go. That one is done. Okay, so everything now is complete with the cleaning the exterior and then also wiping down the windows. So let's get our hands back out. And then we have to clean the interior next. All right, how do we go about doing this? Use the upholstery spray. Spray and vacuum the seats. All righty, don't mind if we do. We can use E to open up the doors. Let's go around to the other side. And we'll just start over here on the passenger side. Oh, we can enter the vehicle as well. Cool. Yeah, it looks very luxurious on the inside. Very Aston Martin-esque, if you ask me. So, what are we starting with here? Probably, well, garbage can, I suppose, if there was garbage in there. But let's start on the floor mats here with this upholstery spray. And then we can switch our tool to this vacuum, I guess? Ah, I see. I see. Okay, that's one floor mat down. Then if we hit escape, we can move on to the next. We're going to need our spray yet again, though. And we can just spritz this thing. Get it all foamed up as well. Missed a little bit over there. Got to get the bolsters, of course. All right, that's looking pretty solid. Let's get the vacuum out once again. And we can start to clean these things up. Oh, dude. This is great. This is actually great. This is really satisfying my OCD. For sure. It's a little bit more time consuming than I thought it would be, but... It's to be expected with a game like this. I'm sure there's probably, like, levels and stuff that we can upgrade... You know, as we as we work our way through this. Gotta make sure we get the back as well. Okay, that's showing it's clean, but we've still got some suds on here. Gotta make sure we get rid of all of those. Okay, seat cleaned. Let's go ahead, close that door. And we'll get out our upholstery foam once again. Oh, we've got a little got a little foam over there too. On that on that door jam. Probably fine. Not going to concern ourselves with that for right now. Clean up this other floor mat right quick. And then I think the last thing we need to do is just do the exact same thing we just done did to this seat. Do we have to use the foam? Yeah. Yeah, probably. Otherwise, it's just, it's just going to take, like, way too long, I think. So, quick little spritz all the way around this thing. Switch back to the vacuum. And we can get after it. Yeah, see, it's it's cleaning up way easier now. After we've foamed it up. Okay, that should be that seat now cleaned as well. What else do we have to do? It just says clean the interior. Let's hit, let's hit tab. See if there's anything else. Yeah, see, it just says clean the interior. What do you mean? Where? We've got the floor mats. I guess we could enter the interior. See if there's... Oh, the trunk. The trunk, the trunk, the trunk. Surely, yeah, there it is. All right, we love to see it. Let's get the upholstery foam going again. Grab the vacuum. Get all of that suctioned off of this rear floor mat. And there we go. The deed is done. All right, let's get our hands back out. Close that, close that, and then finish. Oh, wipe the car body. Right, right. Shouldn't be too terribly difficult. I didn't see any, like, cloth or anything as a part of this. Oh, yeah, never mind. We've got one. Ooh. Ooh, the water spots. Bye bye See you never. That is really, really good. And then what else do we have down there? E to change the cleaning mode. Oh, hold E. I'm sorry. I dig it. I dig it. Little bit different angle. It's probably going to help us clean this off a little bit easier. Hold R to ring it out, and we can keep on trucking. All right, and then WASD to sort of work our way around this thing now. V12, gotta be an Aston. Gotta be, dude. Don't even try to tell me otherwise. I'm convinced. What about, like, is there a light or something? Do we have, like, a headlamp? It would probably come in handy. Just don't have that much light actually hitting um, the sides of the vehicle. It's going to be a little bit difficult to see what we're doing, but it's all good. Got a California license plate as well. There we be. Back bumper now done. Keep working our way around to the side. There we be. Now onto the door. 
Okay, task completed. I still got a fender to wipe down. I don't know what you're talking about. And then on top of that, we've got the uh, the trunk or the boot, depending on where you're from. You probably call it something else. How do we get to the roof, though? Maybe there maybe there isn't a roof view. We probably just have to do that from here, right? Or wait, wait, wait. Let's see if we can do this, maybe? Nope. Really doesn't want us to clean the roof for whatever reason. So I guess we'll just stand up here and finish the job. There we go. Work around to the other side really quick. Get rid of all those water spots. Got to keep the customers happy. Alrighty. I think that's it. I think that's all she wrote for this one. So how do we complete the job then? Probably in here somewhere. Finish tasks for you. Is there like a phone or something? Oh, there's a little waypoint over here. And a cutscene. That kind of froze for a minute, but that's okay. Good lord! My life is over. What will I do now? I know, I'll become a doctor. Or we could... Or we could start our own detail business, I guess. That works too. I, just by the glove getting put on, that's immediately what my mind jumped to. Go to the computer and select a task with John Johnson. What a name. We've got an Abori or Abori 81. It, the only thing we can do is accept the job. We, we can't turn anyone away. It's, it's our first task here. Place the card down right there. All right, so in the tutorial, we had a much nicer facility. Um, now I guess this is our little shed. Pretty solid, though. I mean, no complaints. Okay, clean the car. Use the scroll wheel to go to the store. Oh, we've got 1,700 coins at our disposal at the moment. So I guess let's just get what we know we need for right now, which is going to be this bodywork kit. And then let's place that on the top shelf. Probably something we're going to be using fairly regularly, I would assume. There we go. Now that we've got that, we can start on cleaning this thing. Look at the dirt, dude. Look at the filth. This thing is nasty. All right, let's get our foam blaster going. Get her all foamed up. Can't forget the roof, too. Usually, when I when I would wash my car, I would, I would typically start from the roof and then sort of work my way down. That way I'm not just blowing all the dirt around and whatnot, scratching the paint, anything like that. There she is. And then now we've got our power washer once again. I think you guys kind of understand probably what, what we're doing here. We're just going to be cleaning cars today, dudes and dudettes. It's the name of the game, quite literally. Car Detailing Simulator, so... If you were expecting something else, I'm sorry to disappoint. But that is quite literally all we're going to be doing here today. Keep going down to the hood here. I also wonder if we could upgrade these tools. Like, get maybe a, a wider spray nozzle or something for our power washer. Would be kind of nice. We're not doing any interior on this one, though. It's going to be just cleaning up this exterior. Around to the back bumper. Now to the driver's side of the vehicle. See, I don't know what this thing's based off of either. Maybe, maybe like a E30? BMW? I don't know. I don't know. Could be, could be like a vintage Audi as well. Kind of got like some, whoops, that's not the right button for that. Kind of got like some uh, wannabe four rings there on the grill. So maybe it is based off of a vintage Audi or something. Anyways, that is done. So do we have to... Wait, it says rinse off foam. Um, did I not Did I not do that? And then wipe the body. Okay, let's, let's actually get the power washer out. I guess I missed some foam somewhere. Oh, right on that wheel. Okay, probably on that wheel as well. And this one. Go figure. But that should be all the foam now, at the very least. 
Next step, we're gonna be wiping down the car's body as we just did in the tutorial. Oh, dude, I, I didn't even realize what color this thing was. It was so dirty before. It's like a really, really, I don't know if that's gray. I guess I would call that gray. Either gray or silver. Most people just refer to gray cars as silver. Gotta get the roof line. Oh, we are full of water. Ring that out real quick. So when it's full, you can still wipe it, but it's not gonna get all the water spots off. This is kind of fun, you guys. This is kind of fun. Not sure how it's gonna be in terms of content because games like this, you know, they're just so monotonous that uh, even if I were to do a series on it, it's just gonna be more of the same. Every single episode, I would completely run out of commentary by like episode two, I guarantee it. Oh, and we can actually wipe down the windows as well with this cloth. That's kind of handy. So we probably don't even really need the uh, window wash kit, at least not yet. But I'm sure as we start to unlock more and more jobs here, we'll probably have to con continue like upgrading our kits and stuff. There we go. All right, the car is all wiped down nice and clean. We'll head back over here, pick up our phone, take a picture. That's pretty cool. Okay, I've got the camera in position at the FOV that I want for a possible thumbnail. Uh, I'm curious now if I take a photo, if it's, oh, it is gonna save a screenshot. I just, just done heard that. Sweet, good deal. All right, choose the location and hang the photo in the gallery. Let's put that top left. You know, first job, we'll put it on up there. And now with that done, we can return the car. Alrighty, five stars. It was a really easy job, let's be real. If I, if I didn't get five stars on that, I would be fairly concerned. So let's pick the phone up again, maybe? No, go to the photo wall. All right. God, I gotta get a drink, dude. My mouth's so dry today for whatever reason. Mmm. This. This I am into. We have this little bar we can drag across so you can actually see what it looked like before and what it looks like now. That's really cool. That is really, really cool. Yeah, it's it's got to be an old school Audi. I'm convinced. I am convinced. All right, that's pretty neat, though. Very, very cool. Let's try to accept our next job here. Scratchy McGee. I love the names. Car doesn't shine like in the good old days. Polish the bodywork and take care of the gloss and long-lasting effect. All right. Sounds pretty easy. Oh, we're going to need the polish kit for this. Okay, well, it's a good thing we got paid for that previous job because we probably wouldn't have enough money otherwise. Well, we started with 17 hundo. We, we definitely had enough. Definitely had enough. Get the polish kit. That's going to go right underneath our body washing kit. So wait, we probably, yeah, we probably still need to clean the car before we can actually polish it. So I'm going to do that since we've already seen that twice uh, and then we'll uh, check out this polishing kit. All right, with the vehicle now completely cleaned, we're gonna be using this like scratch repair kit almost, like a, a polishing kit. So we'll see what that's all about. Wait, 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 don't put that away. Yeah, I need you. I need you. We've got the flashlight. Oh, okay. Not sure how realistic this is necessarily, but it is kind of cool. Pretty much every panel on this vehicle, hence the name Scratchy McGee, it, it makes sense now, but it's it's just all torn up. So I think the worst of it is definitely the trunk lid there. So let's put the flashlight away and we'll get our orbital polisher out. We'll see if we can get rid of at least a couple of these scratches. There we go. Change cleaning mode. Oh, we've got to hold that to change the cleaning mode, right. Alrighty, we'll do that. And then we're just going to have to, like, continuously switch back and forth with our with our flashlight. So now that we can see the scratches again, we'll get our polisher out to the rear bumper. Oh, this is also satisfying. You know, I was a detailer for um, Chevrolet and Audi as well for a, a short period. So I'm, I'm all too familiar with this whole process. But in video game form... I was kind of worried it wasn't going to be as as good or as fun. It's definitely definitely something. 
Definitely something. Let's just do a little bit of that fender up there as well. Oh. Now, of course, we can just focus on the fender. That's nice. We missed just the tip of that. And down to the front. All right, that seems good. Onto the front bumper. So if we click on the flashlight, it's going to show us not every square inch of the thing, but for the most part, I think it gets the point across where we need to polish. Are we done? Oh, we've got to reapply the paste. The compound, dude. There we be. All right. Front there is looking pretty good. You can even see the surface scratches uh, without the flashlight on this panel. But that's kind of just because the way that the sunlight is hitting the thing right now. It's very dark in here, especially with a black car. I'm finding it more and more difficult to, uh, to see what we're doing here. There we go. Just buzz that across. Nice. All right. They're saying that we're done with the with the bodywork, so I'm cool with this or with the polishing. You know what I mean. Let's get our hand back out. The car is clean, so we'll click on our phone. And then we could take a picture of this one. Also, I think this is an 8.6. Maybe not. It could be anything. Honestly, this body style, very common back then. Go ahead and just return that vehicle to them. Five stars again, baby. That's what I like to see right there. Car named the Croft Dozer. Sure. That only took us just about seven minutes to complete that whole thing. I know I got my hand out. It keeps bringing out the uh, the polisher again. Next up, we have this vehicle here. It says, I can't handle the windows. There's streaks everywhere. Can you help me? Uh, while you're at it, please scour out the wheels. Don't know what that means, but we'll find out, I'm sure. All right, we've got a pink Honda Civic by the looks of things. Not my first choice for color, but that's okay. Uh, wash the wheels, wash the windows, and then repair the seats? How do we repair the seats? Uh, we're probably going to need, yeah, we're probably going to need some new tools for this as well. All right, so let's see what we've got here. Stain removal kit, car interior kit, wheels kit, windows kit. We need the wheels kit to clean these wheels. So let's place that down right there. And we've run out of shelf space already. So if we buy any more, where are we supposed to put those? Because we're going to need the stain removal. Oh, switch to upgrade. There it is. There it is. Let's get to our shelves. There she be. And we can upgrade that. Probably, probably two times. You know, we've got plenty of money for that. And then let's go back into the store now that we have that completed. We'll get the stain removal kits. I'm going to probably just put that on the top. I guess it doesn't really matter where we place these things down. Eventually, we'll, uh, we'll figure out where it all needs to go. Car interior kit right there. And lastly, the window kit. That's going to go on the very bottom. All right, let's start with the windows on this, and then we can move on to the new stuff we haven't yet seen. All right, we are all finished up now with washing the old winders. Let's open up the uh, the two-door Civic over there. So now we're going to be doing the wheels, or washing the wheels, which is going to be right down here. We'll get that thing open. See what they actually do here. Okay. I've got you. I've got you. Seems easy enough. Honestly, I'd, I'd rather sort of learn on our own and not just watch somebody else do it. So first, we're going to start with the wheel brush. That is going to go in between each spoke here. I wonder if it I wonder if it does something different or if if you need to do something different for like different styles of rims. Kind of kind of curious about that now. So we'll get all the dirt knocked off with this in between all the spokes. Now we can do the wheel well. And then lastly, it looks like we're just going to be scraping the absolute bejesus out of these rims. Hopefully this is a very very soft bristle brush because this ain't this ain't really what you should be doing if i'm being honest over on the right it says we've washed the wheel we've got a little check mark there so i guess let's just continue on to the next one and we'll have to do literally the exact same thing go figure you know i could see a game like this being really really enjoyable for someone who maybe doesn't have a car to detail or just really really like really enjoys uh, vehicle detailing but 
from my perspective, I don't know, man. Same reason I've sort of stayed away from power washing simulator. Like if I really wanted to power wash something, I would just go outside and power wash something. Or if I really wanted to detail a car, I would just go outside and actually detail my own car. You know, it kind of does seem a little, a little weird, but people love simulation games. There is a simulation game for everything under the sun anymore. And this title is no exception. I mean, somebody somewhere said, you know, I would love, I would just love to clean a car virtually. I'm tired of going outside and sweating, doing it all by myself, you know? I want to do it virtually instead. Same satisfaction, though, I will admit. The exact same satisfaction I, I'm feeling right now. Cleaning a, a real car versus cleaning this. Getting the same feels. All right, that is that wheel now complete. What did we miss? It says we're still not quite done with the wheels. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, let's let's go around really quick and we'll just try to make sure that we've got everything done. Oh, it's the tire. Okay. So I probably missed the tire on this one too then, huh? Do a quick little scrape rooney around the tire. There she is. Good deal. All right. So we are done with the wheel washing kit now. We've got to repair the seats. The car seat kit. Doesn't really sound like what it is. Sounds like something you'd put kids in. A car seat. Anyways, we've got that selected. So let's reopen the vehicle doors. We've got some definite stainage on this seat for sure. So we're going to start out by using sandpaper. Okay. I don't know anything about reupholstery or, or repairing upholstery like this so this very well could be proper procedure just kind of seems a little funky on plastic i mean that makes sense you would sand it down if it was like you know scored up or something and then you could you could spray it just like this that part of it i i 100 percent understand but i don't know about this whole upholstery repair stuff that's one seat down. It looks like two to go. I think we're actually going to be doing something in the rear as well. We've got a bench seat back there. So we'll sort of scuff this one up. And then once again, we'll just spray over top of it. What? I don't know what we're spraying either. That's kind of interesting. All right, after this one, I'm not going to accept another job if it's going to be more of the same. I want to, I want to experiment with another, you know, different functionality here. But that is this vehicle now complete. Go ahead and hop out. Close the doors. Every time I press E, it tries to bring my tools back out, which is kind of strange. Click on the phone. That's the money shot right there, dudes. That is the money shot. abso freaking lootly. Okay, that's going to go up on the wall right next to our other one. Give me that five stars. There it is. Another satisfied customer. Sick. Okay, that only took just about 12 minutes to complete, and my tools are just continuing to, to pop up. See what we gotta do here. Oh, it's the exact same thing. A different looking car. It's just mud. I swear. I don't know if I believe that. I don't know if I believe that one. Uh, should we reject this one? If we reject it, what are the odds we're gonna get another one? And what are the odds it's gonna be the exact same thing? We'll wait. We'll wait for a sec. See what we've got this time around. Yeah, it's, it's the same thing. It, it, the car is actually identical. It's just a different color. I do peep the wood grain, though. I, I see this guy for that. Do you know who still has thick carpets on the yada, yada, yada? Kind of wish I would have read that message. Uh, let's see. Oh, and it's gone. <laughs> okay. So on the wood panel car that we saw just previously, I decided as I, as I started to clean it, I was like, wait, why are we, why are we doing all of this again? right? So I just sent it on its way. We got two stars for it, but now we are going to have a few different options here. So this one needs polished. What's oh, a truck too? That's pretty sick. And then I think that just means we have some trash in there that needs thrown away. That's not too crazy. This one, pretty much the same thing we just did. What about this guy? Windows polishing, interior cleaning... The car is cool, though. Oh, the Chadillac. I got to do this one. I just have to. The Chadillac, you guys? The Chadillac Firestorm? How do I say no? Right? I can't wait to see what this thing looks like. 
go ahead and place that down in the center of the garage as we do see what we got oh it's big pimpin this is sick this is actually sick i love like the just soft top but on only a portion of the of the roof of the rear of the vehicle cool all right so what are we doing to this bad boy we've got to clean the interior that much we do know see what we actually have inside of here okay not too bad do we have the interior oh we do good actually couldn't remember if we uh if we purchased that so let's grab our upholstery foam once again we're gonna foam it all up we're gonna use the vacuum to get her all clean and we're gonna move on to the next one should be pretty quick and easy tell you the truth the rear bench seat kind of looks like it's already clean and just to double check we can also right click and that should in theory if there were dirt on this seat show us sort of a heat map of where that dirt is at but that one looks pretty solid so interior detailing i guess is done next we have wash the windows wash the wheels polish the bodywork and then repair the seats okay let's let's repair the seats i guess sort of since we have the the doors open and whatnot going around now and cleaning up all the the wheels on this thing and the rims for this vehicle are very very interesting looking typical you know early model cadillac for sure sort of got like some some thin wispy looking spokes i don't know I'm, I'm not a huge fan but to my surprise cleaning them is no different than cleaning any of the other ones so nothing new going on there i did however realize that if you go around the wheels very very slowly or much slower than i was going previously it cleans so much faster so I was kind of kind of worried that it was just going to take a tremendous amount of time to do this every single uh, go around at it, but it's honestly not that bad. With the wheels nice and clean now, we're going to be moving on to cleaning these winders. So if you look closely, when you spray, it kind of gets like a little darker over in that area. And I think what you really want to do is just make sure the entire windshield or window, whatever you're cleaning at the time, is all darkened like that. I don't know if that's if that's actually right or not, but it seems like when you do that, it is a little bit easier to actually wipe down and uh, and clean off. We're gonna have to wring that out once again, and we will keep on trucking. There we be, dude. It's going by pretty quick. It really is. If the owner of this vehicle's name isn't Chad, that is such a missed opportunity. Being the Chadillac, seriously, the coolest thing. All right, last thing we need to do on the Chadillac, though, is going to be polishing it. So let's get the flashlight out straight away. We'll hold E so we can look at this thing in a little bit more detail. Oh, no. Yeah, it's it's bad. It's bad, all right. So let's grab the orbital polisher. And we can just start going around, getting her all shined up. So, like, a lot of the really deep surface scratches are still there. But I think we're just getting most of, like, the surface scratches off at the moment. Almost done with this one. Oh, and we're going to have to add more polish or paste to this as well. Okay, let's get our flashlight out again so we can see how we're doing. And then also right-click. Okay, we're looking all right there. On this side, oh yep, gotta add the paste. Hang on, that's probably uh probably where we done goofed. How do I do that again? It didn't, oh there it is. Got it, got it, got it. So you do have to completely run out of the paste. Honestly, we don't even need to use the flashlight because ultimately this entire vehicle is just scratch city. So just about every panel is gonna have to get touched regardless. Oh, and we're done. Easy as that. Okay, the Chadillac Firestorm is complete. I am definitely, definitely taking a photo of this thing. Dude, you kidding me? How often do you get the opportunity to detail a Chadillac? Oh, we can probably do this, can't we? I want uh, I want the light to be 25. Don't ask me why. There it is. We've done it. FOV way in. And there we go. The Chadillac lives on. That thing is going right there. What a beautiful, beautiful machine. Go ahead and return that vehicle to its owner. Probably named Chad, let's be real. We got 461 buckaroonies from that one. Nice, good deal. All right, you guys, I think I have had my fill 
of card detailing for today. But once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.